George and Mary have been on my personal wall of fame for decades. When I think about George and Mary, I can think of two or three reasons why they're the perfect fit for this. One is what comes from their heart. And so it's great to have people um, recognized who would never advance themselves or promote themselves. They are humble people. They are loving people. They have a, a commitment to the community and to the state that's really rare. They care about people. They care about the community. They are always thinking about what can they do to make the world a better place. I can't imagine people could be much better qualified. They're both have lived lives of service. I feel lucky that I get to spend so much personal time with them in ways that other people don't. I get to see how funny and silly they are. They're kind of a power couple um, because they're both so dynamic and so genuine. Um, they're thoughtful people in, in the full sense of the word. I believe that Mary completes George. Uh, he's happier when he is around her, there's that, a gleam in his eye, and there's always a smile of support for Mary. They, you know, have taught me to trust my internal compass. Um, they've encouraged me to dream big. When I first was working at the Nature Center with Mary, it was a joy to go out on the trails with her. And she wanted to know what was going on uh, in the life underneath the surface of the pond. She brought work home with her a lot of the time. Literally, we had baby animals running around our house that she was nursing back to health. I still remember walking in down Birdhouse Trail and getting to the visitor center. Who imagined this? This is so gorgeous, and I appreciate Mary's vision so much and the work that she put into it. And I remember one time we had a great horned owl tethered in the back of our Subaru and we pulled up at a stoplight and seeing somebody kind of look over at us and then do a double take. My mom was just so natural about driving around with this giant bird of prey in her car and that's just kind of what she did. She was scrappy about stuff like that. Mary is usually the most outspoken of the two on things. Uh, but George, I think, in his own private and quiet way, gets things done. Everybody knows if George tackles a project, it's going to be done really well. Boy Scouts, adults, and youth alike attest to a creed. We call it the Scout Law. And those, uh, those words are trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. And when I think of the Scout Law, I think of George Hall and Mary Hall, and I would add to that uh, generous and gracious. They are synonymous with all things good. Or my mom and I love to watch horror movies with George because he gets up and paces around and calls it TV, which is a side that people don't get to see. So I just want people to know that they are not only good for the community, but they're really fun. George is one of these guys that's always, something goes wrong with our travels. We've had instances where he put his backpack in the overhead rack with the water bottle not sealed and, and had it raining water on the people behind him. We had one time when we were surrounded by the local police uh, because a drug, drug sniffing dog had alerted to George's carry-on, which turned out to have a uh, cracker in it. If I had to summarize Mary or use one word to define Mary, it most definitely would be curious. Um, I think that, that that is the thing that drives her. For me, Mary in one word would be love. Um, the hugs that she gives you when she greets you and she just holds on a little extra long and a little extra tight makes you know that it's genuine and authentic and that she really does care about you. I've never heard her utter an unkind word about anyone, and it's never going to happen. She's just not wired that way. So for me, Mary, love. There's probably two. One is stubborn, but it's sort of a flavor of determined. That she's really determined. When she puts her mind to something, even if it's really hard, she goes for it. I can't do one word. I absolutely can't. I wish I could. Mary is smart. 
funny and very gracious and visionary. Mary is a visionary. For George, um, if I were to choose one word, it would be thoughtful. Generous. You, you have to be pretty quick um, to beat George to a thank you, to a graciousness, to a politeness, to a kindness. And uh, for me, he's the consummate gentleman. And if I could be more like him, that would be a good thing. George is incredibly humble. And he is one of the kindest people I know. I think of the word gracious. George is kind, unassuming, humble, willing to work. And as I think about Mary, I think about the word tenacity. She is a tenacious person. And I think the combination of gracious and tenacious make an awesome couple which is what helps to make them inseparable. Service is a great uh, way to describe uh, both of them in terms of the way they have dealt with the, the world around them. If we could have more George and Mary Halls in our community, we would all be better off. <laughs>